What's up guys, this is Tyler with Board Insiders. I'm here to do the flex test on the 2015 Arbor Westmark. This is a 157 centimeter board. This is the mid-wide version. Last year, the mid-wide version of the Westmark was the blacklist. This year, they just have the mid-wide version of the Westmark. So I'm not exactly sure if the blacklist is still in the lineup for this year or if they just named it the mid-wide version of the Westmark. So this is a 157 centimeter board, mid-wide, reverse camber, Grip tech, just like all the other Arbors, and I'm about to do the flex test. All right, so when I'm doing my flex test, I usually just like to lean on the tip and lean on the tail. Not really trying. So at 175 pounds, that's what you'll get if you just lean. Boom, when you get this board for Christmas, that's what it's gonna look like when you're on the living room floor. Torsional flex, this is a lot stiffer than a lot of them that I've torsionally flexed this year. A lot of that probably comes from the being a mid-wide, you got a lot more board to, a lot more surface area to torsionally flex. So I would say torsionally, this is a seven and a half, eight out of 10 on the torsional flex. One thing about arbors that has always been consistent, every flex test I've ever done on an arbor, it feels like the board flexes even throughout the whole thing. It doesn't feel like it's stiffer here than it is here. It doesn't really feel like it has a stiffer zone. It all bends and works together with kind of the same tension. All right, so now I'm really gonna try to flex it. Whoop. So that's like the max flex. One thing with this board, if I really tried, I could just roll over the tip and the tail. Not because it's not stiff enough. It almost feels like the tip and tail just aren't quite long enough for you to not roll over. So this is the max flex on the tail. I would give this board a eight out of 10 on the stiffness for right now, but I feel like when this board breaks in, it's gonna be more on the six out of 10 on the stiffness. You can just feel it in this board that it's gonna break in real easy and really soft. For the latest snowboard reviews, check out boardinsiders.com.